let's have here our uh, new discussion. So we have here slope of a line. But before we will deepen our understanding about slope of a line, let's have here our learning objective that we need to attain at the end of this discussion. Okay, so we have here our learning objective. At the end of this lesson, you need to find the slope of a line given two points. So we are hoping that at the end of this discussion, you will be able to, att uh, to attain uh, this uh, given objective okay so let's start discussing okay. finding the slope of a line a given line. two points on the line okay so the slope of a straight line is defined as the ratio of the vertical rise of the line to its corresponding run so we have here a slope is equal to rise over run or change in y change over change in x as you observe here we have here in a given figure uh, the rise and the run so you will be able to uh, understand that one later on so the slope of any non-vertical straight line containing the points with coordinates x sub 1 y sub 1 and x sub 2 y sub 2 is defined uh, by the given formula so we have here m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 where x sub 2 should not equal to x sub 1 so teacher Kim bakit uh, hindi dapat maging equal si x sub 2 at saka si x sub 1 it's because pag naging equal yung dalawa ibig sabihin magiging undefined yung slope natin so dapat hindi magiging undefined yung slope natin so, i uh, uh, so ibig sabihin class uh, dapat uh, hindi equal si x sub 2 at saka si x sub 1. Okay, so the m here represents si slope. Okay, so it is the symbol of a slope. So again, the formula of a slope is uh, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, so the coordinates of the first point are given a subscript of 1, thus x sub 1, y sub 1. The coordinates of the second point are given a subscript of 2, thus x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, is it clear? Good. Okay, so before, uh, before we will uh, proceed to finding the slope uh, given two points, so we need uh, to remember some things. So we have here things to, uh, we have here, uh, things to remember. So the first one, slope describes the steepness of lines. Okay, so second one, in coordinate. In coordinate geometry, a slope normally refers to the slope of a line through two points or the given ordered pair. So we have here the third one, the slope of a line that is uphill from left to right is positive. So from the word itself, up or uphill, ibig sabihin pataas, therefore positive si slope. Okay, next one, the fourth one, the slope of a line that is downhill from left to right is negative. Ibig sabihin, pag down, uh, pag down class, ibig sabihin, negative si slope of a line. Okay, is it clear? Okay. Okay, so let's proceed to the fifth one. We have the slope of a line that is horizontal is zero. Ibig sabihin, pag numerator ang uh, pag numerator niya is 0, ibig sabihin the slope of the line is equal to 0. So, let's proceed to the sixth one. We have the slope of the line that is vertical is undefined. Ibig sabihin, pag uh, ang denominator is 0, always remember na undefined yung magiging result. So, pag undefined, pag uh, 0 yung denominator, ibig sabihin ang slope natin is undefined. So, let's proceed to the uh, seventh one or the last one we have there is a big difference between a line with zero slope or horizontal line and a line with no slope or vertical line it's because the uh, horizontal line uh, ibig sabihin is zero yung numerator so that's why it results to zero so zero ang magiging slope natin but when we talk about vertical line ibig sabihin yung uh, denominator is zero so therefore undefined yung slope natin. Bakit? Uh, it's because uh, any number that is divided into 0, it will always result to undefined. So that's why if ever 0 yung denominator, undefined yung slope natin. So hindi ka pareha si uh, horizontal line at saka 
vertical line. So, I hope that it's clear with your class. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. So, now let's proceed to finding the slope, okay, uh, given uh, two points. Okay. okay, so we have here uh, finding the slope of a line given two points on the line. So, we have here example number one. You are, If you are asked to find the slope of a line that passes through four and four five and two one okay so what are you going to do first is to identify uh which are uh which is the first ordered pair and the second ordered pair or uh, which is the x sub one y sub one and x sub two y sub two okay so first we will identify uh among by four five and two and one uh, which are the x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. So, uh, we will let 4 and 5 the first x and the second x. Okay? So, ibig sabihin plus. Okay? So, wait for a while. Ibig sabihin, si 4 is our x sub 1 or the first x. And si 5 is our y sub 1 or the first y. Next one we have. The 2 here is our x sub 2 or the second x and y sub 2 or the second y. So what are we going to do is to sub substitute all the value of x sub 1, y sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 2 in the given formula. Okay, question teacher Kim. Pwede ba magi uh, or pwede ba ipalit uh, si x sub 2, y sub 2 magiging 4 and 5 and x sub 1, y sub 1 magiging 2 and 1. Pwede. It's because the same lang sila ng answer once uh, we apply the given formula. So, uh, in my case, I used 4 and 5 as first x and first y and 2 and 1 as second x and second y. Okay? So, let's start substituting uh, the value of x sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 1, and y sub 2 in a uh, base from the given formula. So, we have here m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, let's start with y sub 2, uh, which is our y sub 2. We have here 1. Okay? Copy natin si 1, then copy the sign minus. Next one, the value of y sub 1, we have here 5. Okay? Over x sub 2, the value of x sub 2, we have here 2. Okay? Next one, copy the sign minus. Next one, the value of x sub 1, we have here 4. Then, we will perform the operation. Okay? So, wait for a while. Okay? So, we have here 1 minus 5. Okay? When we say 1 minus 5, ibig sabihin uh, negative 4. Okay? Negative 4 yung answer natin. Okay? So, over 2 minus 4, we have here negative 2. Okay? So, can we simplify this one? Yes, it's because we can divide 4 divided by 2, okay? So, 4 divided by 2, we have here 2, okay? So, since uh, parehas silang negative, ibig sabihin, when we divide negative by negative, it will result to positive. Ibig sabihin, class, our final answer is 2. Ibig sabihin, uh, okay? Ibig sabihin, our slope is 2, okay? 2 over 1 or 2. Okay, so ibig sabihin si negative 4 is our rise and si negative 2 is our run. Okay, it's because slope is, is equal to rise over run. So our final answer is 2. So our M, okay, our M is equal to 2. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. So uh, how about uh, teacher Kim? When we uh, substitute or when we substitute x sub 2, y sub 2 as 4 and 5 and x sub 1, y sub 1 as 2 and 1. So, uh, let's uh, solve this one. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so we have here. Uh, let's copy first the formula. Okay, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is equal to. Okay, let's substitute. 4 and 5 as our, uh, okay, as our x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, let's erase first this one. Okay, so what if uh, si 4 and 5 is our x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, it is our x sub 2 and y sub 2 and the other one we have here x sub 1, y sub 1. So let's follow the 
given formula. So we have here, which is our y sub 2, we have here 5 minus y sub 1, we have here our 1, okay, over x sub 2, which is our x sub 2, we have here 4, okay, minus, which is our x sub 1, we have here 2. So 5 minus 1, we have here 4, over 4 minus 2, we have here 2. So 4 divided by 2, we have here 2. So ibig sabihin, the same lang yung answer if ever balik ta rin natin. So ibig sabihin you can choose kung sino yung first and uh, first x and first y and second x and second y as long as uh, grupo ito si ordered pair. So wag niyo uh, kalimutan na dapat uh, kasama si x and y dapat. Okay? Hindi dapat siya ma-breakdown. Uh, ma okay? So, 4 and 5, 4 and 5, yan ordered pair. Kung 2 and 1, 2 and 1, yan na ordered pairs. Is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's have here our second example. So, for example, you are asked to find the slope of a line that passes through a 0, 2, and 4, and negative 1. So, what are you going to do first? We need to identify the first x and the first y. So, our first x is 0, and our first y is 2, and our second x we have 4, and our second y we have negative Two. So, after that one, we will substitute the given value in the given formula. So, we have here is equal to the value of y sub 2. We have here negative 1. The value of, uh, okay, don't forget the sign negative. The value of y sub 1, we have here 2. Over the value of x sub 2, we have here 4. Copy the sign minus. And the value of x sub 1, we have here 0. Okay? Next one, negative 1 minus 2. So, since uh, pareha sila ng sign, we will add and we will copy its sign. Okay? So, 1 plus 2, we have here 3 and copy its sign na negative. So, negative 3 over uh, 4 minus 0, we have here 4. Ibig sabihin, class, our slope when we or when it passes through 0, 2, and 4 and negative 1, the slope is negative 3 over 4. Ibig sabihin, it is our final answer. Okay? So, same lang yan siya pag ibaliktad natin. So, same lang yan siya na answer. So, is it clear? Okay. Very good. 